Many organizations are moving to SaaS-based hosting environments, but how do you monitor the user experience to these apps when they no longer exist within the four walls of your data center? In this demo, we're going to reveal how network operations teams can gain true visibility into the user experience when they do not own any of the network infrastructure delivering that experience. Here we have a SaaS-based application hosted in the US and monitored in various locations around the world to identify issues for users anywhere. Users in India are reporting issues, but what is the root cause? Who is to blame? The app team, server team, network team? As we start our investigation, we immediately see how the same behavior is observed from all monitoring points around the globe. This is very valuable to determine that the issue is not isolated in a single region or a cloud edge or a local managed service provider issue. As we investigate the health of the web app over the last 24 hours, we can drill into the specific synthetic transaction from India where users are reporting issues. And we can see a big spike early in the timeline. What does this mean? And more importantly, have users in the business been negatively impacted? We can also see the user experience satisfaction for around the same time of day starts to drop. Here at Netta from Broadcom Software is giving clear insights into user satisfaction, allowing operators to identify exactly where to focus their attention. So let's drill into the data spike we saw on the web timeline in more detail. We can now profile the user experience in terms of where the bottlenecks are. Is the problem related to the network, the server, or the app, or even a local browser issue? Well, as can be seen, the network and client part of the user experience is very healthy. We can see that network and browser times are completing in a, in a good fashion, while most of the transaction time is consumed waiting on the server processing. Most importantly, let's prove the innocence of the network and the network team. From the delivery view, network teams can prove their innocence by validating that there is no issue on the network. And we can see this clearly with metrics like capacity, data loss, latency, round trip time. They're all in compliance with normal performance here. And we call this mean time to innocence. So it's not the network, what's the root cause? So we're now gonna drill down into the web view and we can see that the synthetic transaction failed with no such element error at the top of the screen. As we scroll down, we can see a breakdown of the milestones that are part of the overall user experience. Milestone one, user login completes successfully, but when users try to browse categories and products, the page fails. The operator can see that HTTP methods for connecting to the database server for browsing categories or product IDs is taking a long time in comparison to other methods. Over four seconds are spent waiting. This is definitely starting to look like a problem connecting to the database server as we're able to connect to the web server but unable to browse contents held in the database such as product IDs. AppNeta also captures screenshots of synthetic transactions that fail. What does the screenshot tell us here? The network team is quickly able to identify that the problem is not related to the network. They have also been able to identify that the problem is related to the databases using readily available metrics and screenshots as evidence. This combined view of network and user experience diagnostics provides quick insights for both the network and application teams to continually drive down mean time to innocence and mean time to resolution.